Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Blind, where we left off. We had entered this uh, umbrella training facility, which at first I thought was the RE1 mansion, but uh, I'm quickly thinking that might actually not be the case, because it is a bit, it is looking a bit different. But uh, we're making our rounds through this place, getting the, our exploring on and whatnot. Um, had a bit of combat, like we've killed a bunch of stuff. Um, Rebecca, um, most like most of all has been really, really hurt. Like she's been taking some heavy damage, um, which is very sad. Probably should have. Uh, I always like to try to go to, through like the smaller doors first, really, because, um, ooh, so this is, so I think we're above where we were, so we're above like the lounge, plaza thing, lobby, homeroom, so we got some scales, something written on the base, when good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. What's that thing you got, Rebecca? Black statue. I'm gonna assume that maybe we can put this here. Ah! I'm assuming that there's gonna be like a white statue or something that's gonna be like an angel. So just uh, this just literally, yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this painting. I wonder if there's like a secret. Nope. So that's James Marcus. Okay, never mind. Let's examine our lighter. Out of fuel. Okay. For some reason, because is that, that that painting just looks like the type of thing that should be uh, like burnt down, like like not like saying that it deserves to be burnt down, but it just looks like there's something hiding behind there. Let's just get a feel for this place. Um, let's uh, head back in, or actually, go in here, oh, what's this door, this weird door, door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere, the top part is engraved with the image of a clock, hmm, Lock from the other side. It's sort of important, I guess, also to like, to like, to like map in sort of which doors are locked. So at least like we've got an idea of where we can go, go, because uh, one of these doors might have me like one of those weird, you know, sword keys or sword doors or something like that. Again, it's very quiet. Well, there's some birds, I think. A lot of ammunition, as always. I like it. it hasn't really been anything of a much note. Like everything seems to be like it's like each room just seems to have like ammunition. Notice to all staff, this document is very old. 
Much of the writing is illegible. Okay, so this time, j just like before, this time I'll actually know, know not to try to decipher it. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor west operations control room. Second floor southeast meetings room. That must be where we just were. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. 815. Wasn't really that eligible. Hmm. Hey, Rebecca, you take a look at this. Crank handle. Sure. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, the game like sort of like like uh, was stutter stuttering up. Was like I knew something was going on. Hmm. Gosh. Let's get out of here. What? What? Oh, 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 Rebecca, no. I'm still, I'm still very like confused as to whether this is what Billy. The Resident Evil One place, because there is a place that looks a lot. There was a room in Resident Evil One that does look like almost exactly like that room. Mm, Billy's on danger now. And also has crows in it and whatnot, so... But I'm pretty sure in the context of that game, the crow room was like over here. So it's a bit weird. Probably should save it, um, just to be safe. I haven't saved it since we were on the train. Conference room. Right, okay. Drop that. I just want like points to where if we do like ru ru royally screw up and like do very poorly, I want to be able to go back and save ourselves. That, that door is... I can't uh... Oh, there we go. It's like there was like a like an imaginary barrier preventing me from going. Hmm. A lot of like a sort of classical paintings here. Hello, hey Rebecca. Might want to get your gun ready. I wonder if these like fellas are actually like armored, like if, if uh, or something, because like they they've all got like armor on. I wonder if it actually makes a difference. Nice, Rebecca. 
Thank you. While old paintings lying on line the wall, all of them depicting women. I guess they are depicting women, aren't they? Not all of them, like I mean there's women in them, but they've also got other stuff. It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Okay, so that's the second time we've seen that. Now this looks, uh, this is an interesting looking door because it seems that there's like three, three knobs or something. Oh, okay. Uh, it was like the way, the way it was, uh, the angle made it look like it would like an interesting doorknob. What is this map? Nice. Oh, that's really good. Here's the basement. Here's I'm guessing. I guess that, I'm guessing that was a map of the third floor because haven't been there yet. Microfilm A. Sure. It's like a data disk or something. Like a, there was some there was talk about like a data disk uh, in one of those notes. Insert this film into oh it's a oh it's a oh, oh, of course it's film. This film into a projector to view its contents or it could be like a film. Could still be data on it, like some sort of presentation. I think we take this to this conference room. Candles burnt out. Well, that, that, that's probably actually something that's straight up for Billy when we get our uh, lighter oil up again. <clears throat> Mm hmm, I wonder what that means, so. Alright. Oh gosh! Those shadows. Like the, 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 the weird, the glitchy shadows of uh, Rebecca just now. Like, actually. That, that was, that was actually really scary. Like, oh. Uh, in Resident Evil 2, when you first, uh, like, meet, um, Lickers, there's this point where you can, uh, there's, um, they, like, come through the window or something. So, like, like, you can see them moving outside, and it's, I remember that being real messed up. It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. Will this be... Ha! Ah. It feels good when things work the way they should. That was nice, we actually used it, so... so oh, so we could send Rebecca down. What was the other thing we got? We got the microfilm. I'm sure we could probably put that... We could go down that lift, or... We could try to put that film in the conference room. I think that would be... I'm not actually sure... It seems like the type of place it would go. And that, that was where we got 
I'm pretty sure we saw the word microfilm. Or no, we, didn't see, we didn't see the word microfilm, we saw the, the word data disk or something like that. I, I think I might actually just be being stupid. It seems like the type of place that... Like it's a place for projection. Let's just see what our files say. I think it was a regulation for trainees. No. There's one that I, I read something about data or something. talking about then. I'm trying to think of what the heck I was thinking of. Oh, I think it might have been... Actually, I think it might have been that... That panel there, that little thing in the, the teleprompter, with maybe something. Let's go check it out again, because that, that's killing me. The screen isn't display, displaying anything at the moment. We should make it display something. Oh, oh yeah, that's that was it. So we need a disc to unlock that. Then maybe we could put the microfilm in there or something to make it display uh, what we want to display. Let's go send Rebecca down on the lift or something maybe. Hopefully she'll only be, na be down there for a short, short period. She's got plenty of inventory space, so whatever she needs to get, get she could she could uh, get and uh, come on back. She should have plenty of ammunition. Yeah, she's got health. One thing I will have is a. Uh, I'll even their ammo out. Oh, oh. Even their ammo out a little bit. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's split up. Okay. You stay there, Rebecca. Right, hopefully this uh, goes well, and Rebecca does not fall victim to bad things. Oh, that's a good, good looking. Oh, turn it, Billy. Really. 
not so short, but I guess uh, it is called the lift. Oh, oh, oh gosh. For some reason, I was thinking that uh, we were gonna be going down. Right, so that thing's a gigantic cricket man. Oh god. Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca, don't die. I probably should should have given her. Oh my! What the heck? Giving her a shotgun. Oh, stolen caution. Oh my gosh. Oh, so the first day there, even. That's good. Oh, some. Okay, oh, I know this. It's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Oh, okay. So we need to find the minute hand. And then we need to put it to 8.30. I'll take this first aid. Hello, crow. Uh, oh god. So we uh we upset some some crows it seems. Did I hear did I hear noises? I hear some Okay. I think I'm actually gonna call the video there folks, and uh, next time we'll head through that door and uh Try to get through those crows. But uh till then, hope you enjoyed. That's been some more or less play Resident Evil Zero. Blind, I'm the good solidus 9000. Till next time, look it out.